This is He Knows Everything bringing you that heat and that fire. Didn't He Knows tell you guys that Teofimo Lopez was going to have this breakdown? And a prediction, King Strikes again. And a prediction, King Strikes again. Didn't he tell you that Teofimo Lopez... Did you guys watch his press conference with um, Josh Taylor? OMG! <laughs> Me and Devin Haney, we don't see eye to eye on any damn thing. But that emoji in the background, that was priceless. I gotta give him that. See, at the end of the day, it's not about feelings for me. So when somebody does something that makes sense, he knows everything's going to salute it. But when you do stuff that doesn't make sense, he knows everything's not going to support it. Like you're supposed to be rematching Lomachenko. Everyone knows that you got a gift of a decision. It's not a robbery. It was a very close fight. Anyone that says that the fight was a robbery, they don't know shit about boxing. Was Loma robbed? That's a stretch. But was Loma the victor in the fight in the sense that he did more? Yes. I don't mind people calling the fight either way. But the bottom line is, when you look at the finality and the totality of the fight, I could see why 75% of the people lean towards Loma's way. And knowing that, Devin Haney, you should be rematching him. That should be the only logical fight. And you're going to get big numbers. You see, when it's not definitive, run that motherfucker back. Let me say it again. When it's not definitive, run the motherfucker back. It's really simple math. But let's get back to the contextualized version and variation of this with Teofimo Lopez. The super duper hype job variation. And a prediction, King Strikes again. And a prediction, King Strikes again. Didn't he knows everything tell you guys that his father was everything that was wrong with his boxing career that his father was going to run him to the dirt his father was going to run him to the ground i said this back in 2018 when this was sacrilegious do you know how many boxing fans tried to come against me you know how many boxing fans say you don't know shit about boxing but isn't he knows everything seer mode he knows everything visionary mode he knows everything profit mode he knows everything batman mode you know like Batman, with prep time, I'm flawless. Flawless victory. He knows everything, a.k.a. Nostradamus. You know, Nostradamus' prediction was 99.9% accurate with the accuracy rate of that level. And a prediction, King Strikes again. And a prediction, King Strikes again. Didn't I tell you guys? Isn't he a super duper hype job variation? What part of super? What part of duper? What part of hyper? What about what part of job? What part of variation isn't he? Isn't he a super duper hype or hyper job variation? Yes, he is. He's gotten exposed and look at him. He's to the point now. He's just saying anything at a press conference just to sound relevant. But you know who did that to him? His father. See, this is what I was trying to tell you guys so many years ago. Devin Haney's father, Bill Haney, has the same problem. Am I sitting here saying that fathers are not good for the sport of boxing? No, I'm not saying that. But it has to be the right kind of father behind the son. Like Floyd Mayweather Sr. was the right kind of trainer for Floyd Mayweather Jr. Roy Jones Jr.'s father was the right trainer for Roy Jones Jr. Fathers have to know in boxing what role benefits them the most. There's fathers that can be just trainers. And there's fathers that can only be just managers. And there's fathers that simply put have to be just what they are. Fathers. Teofimo Lopez Sr. is just simply put, put a father. Am I sitting here saying that he shouldn't be a father to his son? <clears throat> Stop the presses and pump the brakes on the nonsense. And go sit down somewhere and what? Higgity fucking hush. I didn't say that. Am I sitting here saying that Devin Haney's father needs to park his brakes and not be a father to Devin Haney? <clears throat> Restop the presses on the brakes on the nonsense and go sit down somewhere. What re higgity motherfucking hush? I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is they need to know their position. They're living vicariously through their sons, and it's obvious. <clears throat> it's causing an obvious issue. It's causing an obvious problem. It's causing an obvious conundrum. 
And because of that, they're making their sons make decisions that they would normally make when their sons are fundamentally different people. When you're dealing with different people, different people do different things. Oof, what I said was so deep and profound. Oop. Let me let that marinate in the corpus callosum and in the cerebellum. So hear me and hear me. Motherfucking well. When different people are different, they do different shit. Devin Haney is fundamentally a different person and diametrically opposed to Bill Haney in terms of how he governs himself on a daily basis because he's a different person. Teofimo Lopez is a different person from Teofimo Lopez Sr. because of how he governs himself and how he unctions himself daily. And see, these fathers, they're such dodo heads. They're so selfish. They're so egotistical. They're so maniacal. They're so diabolical. They're so manipulative. They're so gaslighting that they've been gaslighting their own sons. And boxing fans have been falling for the Kool-Aid and not realizing the disaster and basically the conundrum that they put in their sons in. This is why Teofimo Lopez has fallen. It's not because Teofimo Lopez was not talented. That wasn't the issue. I saw the issue before anyone could see it. The issue was staring him in his fucking face, but he was too loyal to the issue. His the issue was his father, Teofimo Lopez Sr. Well, it's the same thing with Devin Haney. The issue is Bill Haney. It's staring him in the face. It's his father. Then his father tell him to leave the Mayweathers alone. And what has happened to Devin Haney since the Alfredo Santiago fight that I've been telling you guys, he's been getting exposed as he's been going up in competition. So clearly the separation from the Mayweathers is not the good move because he's already a dollar general Floyd. He's already a dollar store Floyd at best. But with Floyd Mayweather, at least he can be the maximum variation of a dollar store Floyd. At least he can be a maximum variation of a dollar general Floyd. But that's Bill Haney's doing. And this is what's going to ultimately happen to the Haney's. To the Haney's, they're going to break down as well, too. They're going to have a fundamental problem as well, too. Well, this is the same issue with the Lopez's. See, you guys, are you seeing how you're tying this together? So the problem is not Teofimo Lopez. The problem is not Devin Haney. The problem is their fathers. But it also becomes their problems too because when you become a man, you're supposed to put childish things away. The Bible says when I was a child, I spake as a child. I understood as a child. I operated as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. See, these boys haven't been learned the true alpha molding and training because their fathers are beta males. Because their fathers are too selfish. See, alpha molding and training is all about making your son a better version or a better iteration of what you could never fucking be. But when you're living vicariously through your son, how can your son become better? And that's the problem with Teofimo Lopez. And that's why he was a super duper hype job variation. I saw that a mile away. I saw that the second I saw the both of them together. People forget there was a time where Regis Progre told Teofimo Lopez Sr., if you guys can recall this, this is for the real G's, the super real G's, the ultimate real G's out here in these boxing streets. Now I got to ride a little bit on this video for a second because I have to do my victory lap. And you know when it's time to do your victory lap, you got to ride. <clears throat> and in riding fashion, we're going to ride as simple as this. So hear me and hear me motherfucking well. He knows everything was trying to school you motherfuckers. There was a certain sucker that just didn't want to get it, didn't want to pay attention. Teofimo Lopez was his favorite fighter. Does he even still have a YouTube channel? Is he still even fucking relevant? This was a motherfucker that tried to go up against He Knows Everything. He was the Robin to He Knows Everything's Batman. He didn't know his place. Even his best friend told him. He Knows Everything is in whom I'm well pleased. Listen to him. Because he knows everything reminds me of a younger version of me. Basically, what he was trying to say is, just like I'm your leader and you listen to me and I guide you, he's going to be your leader. He's going to, you listen to him, he's going to guide you. He didn't want to take it because he was older. And this is the problem when people are older, they don't want to listen to people that's younger. But here's the problem. Just because someone is younger than you, that doesn't mean they're not in a higher positioning than you, a higher provis provincial positioning, a higher positioning in life, period. That's just the way it works. I didn't ask for it. 
but his friend was able to see. And as long as he played his da na 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 Robin to my da na 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 Batman position, we'd have we've gone so far. But it things weren't meant to work out that way. It is what it is. I've already pumped this pilot and washed my hands with it. But now he has to sit and see what the he couldn't see. But what the visionary could see, he had to sit and see what this, what he couldn't see, but the seer saw. He had to sit and see what he couldn't see that the prophet saw. See, a prophet is not honored in his own home, but those whom they've rejected became the chief cornerstone. Greatness personification can only be hindered. The motherfucker can't be stopped. And see, when it's all said and done, you what people are coming to the conclusive state where they're coming to the finality of they're coming to the totality of is as simple as this that he knows everything is always on the thumb the wave the curve the needle and the aisle of the damn situation and what was the thumb what was the needle what was the curve what was the aisle of the situation it was as simple as this that tiafimo lopez is a super duper hype job variation but it's not because he's a super duper hype job variation. It's because his father ran him into the dirt, ran him into the ground of becoming a super duper hype job variation. And if Devin Haney is not careful and he does not listen to the he knows everything warning, because this he knows everything warning, this he knows everything conundrum, this he knows everything 20 cash 22 is a motherfucker. If you do not respond immediately and accordingly to this, you fall victim you fall subjugating to it so the warning is as simple as this fire your fucking father from being your trainer fire your fucking father from anything that has to do with the square circle just allow him to be like earl to spence senior he's just in the background supporting his son sometimes a father just needs to fucking just be what he is and just a fucking father you are a father first but above everything else how about just be that motherfucker yes i'm speaking to you bill haney how about you just be that tiafimo lopez senior did you really have to run your son into the ground the reason why tiafimo lopez senior is talking like this is because him and tiafimo lopez behind the scenes have gotten into it and his son is ready to just excoriate his ass and that's why you see him coming out saying, I failed my son. That's not a coinky dink. That's not by accident. That is by divine intervention. That means they both had the conversation. They both had that appropriation. They both had that abbreviation. They both had that face-to-face -face confrontation. And it was ugly. But it needed to happen. Happened later than it was supposed to. They didn't take heed to he knows everything. That's bringing you that what? That heat and that fire. And keeping the foot on the what? On the Knicks. And keeping the foot on the what? On the Knicks. They didn't listen. They didn't listen to him applying unlimited pressure. They didn't listen to pressure does what? It bursts pipes. But guess what? They got their lesson. And when it's all said and done, sometimes you need to get that kind of lesson so that you can get it. So this is why this is an elongated video because it has to break down the fundamental system problems not only with them but boxing fans that choose to be ignorant and not see the obvious shit right in front of them they're doing this same shit with Devin Haney and Bill Haney all over again see you guys have Teofimo Lopez and Teofimo Lopez Sr. right in front of your face to say hey let us have that conversation with Devin Haney let us have that conversation with Bill Haney and say hey Bill Haney Remove yourself, excoriate yourself, because if you don't do that, Devin Haney's gonna end up in the same position as Teofimo Lopez. That's the cool part. That's the unadulterated. That's the cutthroat truth teller fashion. I keeps the foot on the what? On the Knicks. I keeps the foot on the what? On the Knicks. This is He Knows Everything. Checking out.